you are watching a 123sonography.com video. We provide innovative teaching materials on echocardiography. Please visit us at www.123sonography.com to see more. Here is an 80 year old patient who had bypass surgery 12 years ago and who has symptoms, symptoms of dyspnea and angina and I will now show you his aortic valve. Immediately you will recognize that the patient has a problem of the aortic valve. There is a reduction in the opening, there is calcification, but I want you to take an exact look at the, the morphology and how severely the aortic valve is affected because it will all center around the question, is the aortic valve stenosis his problem or not? Well, we have at least moderate to severely thickened calcification and we have a significantly reduction in the opening so there must be some degree of aortic stenosis and we can confirm that with the continuous wave Doppler remember always align the Doppler signal so that you get a parallel orientation to the jet and so here is the stenosis now and if we quantify the gradients we will find a gradient which is 29 mean and 51 max. So based on the gradients we would say well no he does not have significant aortic stenosis. However one thing you have to also take into account left ventricular function. If you see his left ventricle it is significantly reduced. We have an ejection fraction of 34. We have akinesia here of the basal and parts of the mid inferior septum. The remaining part is also hypokinetic. And we see that there's a scar also in the inferior wall. So he has coronary artery disease and he also has um, hypokinesia of the remaining ventricle. Now if we take all these factors into account, uh, this is a patient who has a low flow, low gradient situation. So we're underestimating the severity of aortic stenosis and particularly in the setting of an inferior an infarct this is not good for the patient because he has increased afterload. The question will now be if he will benefit from aortic valve replacement and this will be clarified with other tests for example stress echocardiography he already has a schedule uh, as an appointment schedule for next week. So the, if you look and all the factors together, look at left ventricular function, look at the morphology of the aortic valve, and then also look at the shape of the aortic valve signal. The earlier the peak is, the less severe it is. That can also somehow give you a clue. But it's also only a clue to really know if aortic stenosis is a problem or not. You have to do other tests, in particular stress tests.